Uh, okay, so a CTD is a part of an instrument package that we uh, throw overboard and it's connected to the ship with a wire. Um, it's short for conductivity, temperature, and depth. And it takes uh, continuous measurements of those three parameters. There's two components to a CTD. One is um, we have a series of Niskin bottles. Um, so we take discrete samples of those. Um, they go down open and we pick depths that we want to sample. And we then shut the bottle, capturing that water. And then there's continuous samples, so that runs a constant stream of data to the ship um, that we analyze. CTD goes down, collects water samples. We uh, strip all the gases out of that water with a helium headspace, and then inject that headspace into this gas chromatograph. And from that, we can get measurements of hydrogen and methane concentration. Uh, and then uh, the biologist takes some samples. So the water samples I am filtering onto these small filters that lets the water pass through, but it collects all the bacterial cells on these filters. And so then I take those filters back to the lab and I can extract their DNA from the bacteria to see who is in the water that we filter and what they're doing in that water. And what we do is we, through using chemicals and temperature, concentrate the genetic material. And we use that genetic material to get sequence data, things that you can build family trees and ask questions about. The water is filled with millions and millions of bacteria, and they are really important for processing a lot of nutrients for other organisms and fixing carbon, so taking CO2 and turning it into usable carbon that other organisms can eat or survive off of. So they're really the base of this food web, and really important, especially in fed systems where it's kind of a harsher environment.